are ya. Enough of the bullshit, we've gotta f***ing talk. Banjo, date it. Sonic, hate it. Mario, glade it. Everyone thinks of the Mother Teresa of gaming because they know what a chameleon twist is. Oh, do you brag when you donate blood too? So, are you ready? Make sure you got nothing in your mouth and a seat under your ass, because every one of your cheeks is about to drop. Some people think I put my cats here, but no, they just don't want to pay respect to our lord. You want to talk best title screens in gaming? I mean, Xenoblade, get in line! Yeah, this may be just one of the best movie games ever made. People talk about the SNES ones being made, and they're good in their own right, but this is a gem sitting dormant on the PS1 and PC, and nobody talks about it. Coming out in the year 2000, it shipped 400,000 copies across all versions and did not turn a profit. Argonaut Games was liquidated years after. In other words, I like something that is completely worthless. Movie games are a dimension in themselves because you don't start off with an interesting game mechanic, it's an adaptation. So you're starting with the source material and trying to turn that into some sort of merchandise. And that's essentially what these are, merchandise. Hey, well don't look at me, I didn't put you in the GBA. A corporate head does not see a game and wonder about its unique and different gameplay mechanics that make it stand out in the gaming. No, they just want to make money. Well, that's why a lot of them are. None of that was music. That wasn't music. But... <sighs> It's actually more comfy over there, I don't know why I moved. But sometimes these developers put in care, so much so that these games can stand out on their own. The Emperor's New Groove. He makes a point. Come on, if you grew up out of this time, you would have loved it too. I mean, Disney movies were good, but come on, this? A snobby emperor turned into a llama, teaming up with a modest peasant in a buddy duo racing across the globe to get his body back and reclaim the throne. Whew. But as a game, how does it translate that? Well, I can say that this is the best platformer from the year 2000. It doesn't have confusing day and night cycles, no way too many collectibles. Is this a platformer? This is the game Year of the Dragon wished it was. So like the movie, this game is self-aware and it has great comedy. And it lets you know what it's all about right from the cover. But look at this, he's, he's doing the thing he did in the movie. And not only is it a game for all ages, capital A, but the personality of the game is just shooting out at you. And it doesn't stop there. Look at the disc. They really cared about this thing that was worthless. So what did they do for the file select? Yikes, yikes, yikes. And let me guess, you have a great personality. Okay, yeah, that's good. But the options? <laughs> God, they, they don't appear in the game, ladies and gentlemen. This is the only screen they appear on. They made these models just to appear on this screen. So I'm not gonna say this is a masterclass of game design or anything, but it has its core ideas and it keeps it simple. It follows the plot of the movie of Cusco and Pacha racing back to the palace, going through jungles, mountains, a city, and a lab to get the emperor's body back. It's like Rat Race meets Full Metal Alchemist. You know what, the game is actually more similar to that whole map montage that's one of the best sequences in any movie, and it makes that into the adventure of the game. Also, that's the level select. These mountains are very dangerous. Stick with me. Sure. Nice footwork, Chuggy. You know, I thought they'd be too afraid to do it, but they really made Cusco a fucking bastard. Cusco has a platforming character, well, he has it all. He's got the puzzles of Zelda, the controls of Spyro, the transformations of Banjo Kazooie, and the voice lines of Sonic the Hedgehog. Yeah! Oh, yeah! I'm jumping, 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 jump. Let's go! Hey, wake up! Wakey, wakey! Oh, yeah, I was not joking about the Sonic shit. And I know many of you have been waiting for this. Welcome! <laughs> to know your grooves. The hit Emperor's New Groove PC action game Move Origins show Why didn't I think of that? His damage voice line no touchy. is taken from this scene in the movie. Let's go. Whoa, no touchy! And similarly when he goes in first Let's person have a look -see. It's taken just before he selects his bride. Let's take a look-see. But he's not about to croak just yet. As when you turn back into a llama I'm a llama again. It's similarly taken from that scene yeah, in the movie. I'm a llama again! I also love that they use Cusco's crowns as the health bar. It was like a really smart move, but I don't know if five hits was kind of just arbitrary or it just worked because it looked good. These always reminded me of fruit snacks, so 
Finally, the item used as the continue in the game is taken from a very easy to forget part of the movie. But there's always the lingering stain, a heated debate in the Emperor's New Groove community. Purists of the Emperor's New Groove community may be upset that David Spade and John Goodman aren't here, but don't lament. The voice of Cusco actually went on to play him in the Emperor's New School. Hi there. Just wanted to welcome you to my show, starring me. And Pacha's Winnie the Pooh. Relax, bumpkin. I know these city streets like the back of my hand. But Cusco, you're a llama. You don't have any hands. A fun developer fact is actually the writers of this game went on to write The Last of Us 2. But Yzma and Krong's voice actors reprised their role for this game. Oh yeah, it's all coming together. Hello, little turtle. Are you here to enter the annual village race? So Pacha rides Cusco as a turtle in a blink and you'll miss it scene in the film, and they adapted that into a whole transformation. Like, <laughs> I love this game. Sorry, uh, turtles aren't allowed down here. Does this happen often? Wait, what about Yzma? Ah, this is one of those e-girls. You may have beaten me this time, Cusco, but you will never find me now! What makes her think I would want to find her anyway? I'm going to you. How many times do actual TV actors go on to reprise their role in games? That just didn't happen. Hey, Lama. Wanna play? You'd be remiss in assuming that this game is easy. It may be made for all ages, capital A, but what do you know about on-rail grape shooters? Like the movie, you gotta escape to the jungle, so they made a whole Metal Gear Solid sneaking section where you have to evade Pacha's glance. Huh? And once you get away from him, a boss fight with Izu. What the f was that? Now we're in the jungle, and the movie references do not stop. There are these bugs, the damn squirrel, and oh! <laughs> so a trend of movie games is to take literal seconds of a movie and expand them into full playable levels. Well done! You made it this far! This scene was much shorter in the film. That's f***ing confidence. And this game actually, I give them credit because it's a solid experience. Like I could tell you about each of the levels in this game because they're all pretty damn distinct. And yeah, it's not a long game, but it's a damn fun one. There's this button masher where you have to run away from the Jaguars from the movie and I broke like three keyboards trying to do it. You go rolling down a river on the log like that one section. <laughs> and then Yzma's back and she's attacking you with balloon animals. I know why I'm not impressed by The Last of Us. <laughs> Come on! There's a jungle section where you're avoiding the guards trying to find Cusco and you have to get out of their sight. Game and Lama! Mountainous boulder section in a Donkey Kong section in the city. <laughs> and things start to get weird with the game only characters. There's literally a section where a dude's blocking the door to the next area because he lost his underwear. So you have to get them back. Thanks, buddy. Ooh, what a relief. Um, what the, what is, what are these, what? Play here. Listen, Rock Boy, I couldn't care less. Okay, I understood most of the game. I don't understand this. What have you done with my kid? This. Would you believe me that his dead children haunt you? Let's see. It's already pretty bad. This would suck if I was a rabbit. Ah! Demon bunny! Gotcha, it's me, you big lummox. Wow, Cusco, you look funny. <laughs> me? Funny? Funny how? Funny what, like a clown? clown. Like, like I'm here to amuse you? Is that it? But beyond anything, the best level in this game was. <laughs> meshing a film and game I've ever seen. I know when I was a kid, I saw this scene. Pull the lever, crunk. I'm like, okay, if there happens to be a PC action game for kids of all ages, capital A, I would want to play it. And look at this. Yeah, okay, mechanically, it's nothing new, but it's just the appeal, the hype, the look. It's something that only could have come from a Disney movie and playing it 
Did I mention you're on a roller coaster? Maybe I should mention that. Like the movie, this game is incredibly self-aware. How do you get here so fast? Hey, it's a game. Don't get cocky, kid. Apparently, you can jump when you press your jump button, but I can't find my jump button. We have a missing jump button on our hands. How did I get here anyway? Judging by your size, you probably ate your way through a wall. Overall, yeah, the game is in the toughest. It has collectibles, but you only get a secret photo gallery. But you know, actually finding these secrets in the game and unlocking everything, that's the fun part because they're just hidden in some cool areas. And I don't know, that's that's always the most hype thing for me in a game. When you find the secret in the... Oh. If you could drink sounds. This game has such a mood to it. It just reeks of those early 2000s games, but God, the nostalgia just never ceases to hit me. Of course, it's not very long. We get to the part of the movie where Cusco and Pacha are at the final conflict. So let me get this clear. If you float away without me, this bit's gonna be really hard. Uh, yes, if you just hold on to me, we can float straight to the- And finally, you confront Yzma. Yeah, yeah, enough of the dramatics. Drink it and let's fight! Prepare to die, Cusco. Drink! Okay, this is great. So it's better than the movie because Cusco has no character development and still wins. Uh -oh. This is just a race against Cat Yzma. And it's literally just a race to the potion. Because as soon as you touch that vial, the game... Boom, baby! I think he should have stayed as a llama. As with any cinematic masterpiece, the final scene has all of the characters dancing together with cameos, final appearances, and... Oh, oh my god, kill it! Oh, look at him! Kill it! Kill it! Kill it! And that's the game! Booyah! This is probably one of the best movie games ever created. You know, saying it out loud, it kind of means less. You know, going back to this after so many years, the game still holds up. Oh, yo, this is a good one. This is where I can get out of here. Hi, I just want to, you know, come back, circle back to you and let you know, uh... Not well thought. He spends like a week on these videos. And that's the best he can come up with? Welcome to the end card where I tell you to do a college thesis of things. Um, just for watching a video. Let's be real. I mean, I watch videos too. I don't hit everything, but the the least you can do is subscribe and like it, and that takes like no time at all. And honest to God, if you want to support the channel, you're like, hey, I like the Emperor's New Groove videos. Do more on the Emperor's New Groove. I will do it. That's how you. That is how this works. If you like it, you genuine. Then it tells me. Oh, you know, this is actually something people are interested. If not, you know, whatever. But end of the day. If I want to talk about Emperor's New Groove, I'm going to do it. That's because I have great patrons on the screen who help me, you know, do these topics I care about. They are lovely, uh, all of you talking to you when I do. It's just very fulfilling. So thank you all for supporting me. Thank you for watching to the end. This has been Alax, and I will see you on the flip side.